So if you get food stamps, you could soon get more money because average SNAP benefits will go up this month by more than 25% above pre pandemic levels. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Ottilly spent the day in over the Rhine and she breaks down the impact that change could have. Officials at the Free Store Food Bank tell me those extra dollars can make a big difference in allowing people to make healthier choices. For example, instead of having to buy something cheaper like this ramen, they might now be able to stock up on healthier and more costly options like some produce. It was hard trying to, you know, measure out what to get for your family and everything. It just ain't enough. It wasn't enough. Before the pandemic, Amber Goler received $430 in SNAP benefits each month to feed a household of six. Thank you. The Free Store Food Bank has helped her supplement where food stamps fall short. Okay, I have a six year old and she eats and eats and eats. <laughs> now average SNAP benefits are about to go up by more than 25% what they were before the pandemic. That will make a difference in what groceries Goler will buy. More vegetables and more fruits for my kids because <laughs> they love their fruits and vegetables. This is the largest single permanent increase to benefits in the program's history, projected to cost an extra 20 billion in federal funds each year. It comes after benefits were recalculated to reflect the cost of a healthy diet. What we were seeing is that people were making everyday life decisions every time they went to the grocery store. And it was, do I buy more nutritious food that seemed to be a little bit higher or junk food that we can kind of spread out. On average, a one person household will get an extra six $16 a month. A household of eight would see an increase of $96. According to the Free Store Food Bank, one in seven households in the tri state is facing food insecurity. Since COVID, it's anybody. Um, that showed us that hardworking Americans that were going to work every single day had the rug pulled out of them with COVID. SNAP has helped so many people to be able to just sustain their livelihoods. The increase could make it easier to do that. And to help feed my family because I have extra, you know, so I can pay my bills. These increases are automatic, so if you receive SNAP benefits, you won't have to do anything to get them. Now, if you don't receive SNAP benefits, but you think you should, feel free to come down here to the Free Store Food Bank and they'll walk you through the process. Reporting in Over the Rhine, Madeline Ottilly, WCPO 9 News. There are currently 42 million people in the United States who receive SNAP benefits. More than one and a half million of those recipients live in Ohio. That's according to the latest available data from the state back in July. Not everyone will see a clear cut increase. That's because of changes with other government assistance programs like school lunch programs.